Good afternoon, boys. This is recapping on a lesson we had the other day where we talked about the bird skeleton, how the bird skeleton compares with a human skeleton. So if we look at the bird, start from the top and work our way down, you remember that we talked about the very large eye socket. Birds have very good vision. So you can see that large cavity there for the eyes. The beak, the beak, there are no teeth. The bird uh, needs to be light, so there are no teeth. The neck is longer and curved which helps the bird when it's flying. Moving down, you can see the arm, the hand bone is fused. And a fused hand bone is much easier for holding feathers. And that's why it's fused. Apart from that, fused bones means less bones, which means less weight, which makes it easier for the bird to fly. If you look at the sternum, there's that large keel-like piece of bone at the bottom of the bird. We discuss how that has evolved so that birds have uh, an area to attach muscles. Flying takes a lot of power, so they need big muscles and they attach themselves to that keel. Unlike on a human skeleton, the sternum is very, very flat. If we look at the leg bones, you'll see that uh, the lowest bone there, the tarsus, is fused. The human ankle has lots and lots of bones in it, but we have this long fused bones, which means birds have quite long legs. You see the femur there, the tibia and the tarsus long springy legs which are great for launching into flight. The other thing we discussed is that bones on a bird are very hollow. If you look inside a bird you see it's honeycombed and hollow which again means strong bones which are uh, perfect for flight.